guys um, welcome back to my channel I hope you are all having a great day today I'm here with my finish 7 by spring update it's my first update and I'm super excited I think I've made some really good progress on the products so I'm just gonna start the first thing I actually finish is the benefit posy tint lip and cheek stain and it's like completely gone like you can't get any more out so I finished this and I'm super happy about that that's one product down that's the only thing I finished but the rest of the items I feel like I made considerable progress on like this Keep Calm and Shop um, lip balm. When I started, I was about here, and then now I'm about here. I just marked it right before I started filming. It is almost gone, and I think that is amazing that I was able to, like, use a lip balm. Because, I don't know, it's, for me, it's really hard to use up lip products. So this is a huge accomplishment to get this far down, and I'm going to use it until it is gone. So that's exciting for me, because I don't think I've ever used a lip balm before in my life. So I'm super excited to, like, have that accomplishment is that it? I think it's an accomplishment to finish like a whole makeup product I don't know whatever the next thing is the covergirl um clean oil control press powder I have not hit pan on it but the indentation of the pan is kind of getting like you could tell the powder is getting close to pan so I think I am confident that I'm going to be able to finish it because once you hit pan on a powder it's kind of easy it kind of just goes really quickly so I'm confident about that the next thing is the Urban Decay 24-7 Black Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil. And to start, I was right here. That that line right there. And now I am right here. So I like did it like that. And then like the tip of the pencil. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So now I'm right there. So I have made some progress on it, but not much. I have been using it every single day. But I think if I keep using it every single day, I'll be able to finish it. So I'm confident, even though I haven't made that huge of a progress on it, I'm still confident about it. That sounded kind of weird. Whatever. The next thing is the Body Shop um, Raspberry Body Butter. And I think I finished about three-fourths of what I started with. So this should be gone in like two days. But yeah, that's where I am right now. This is going to be gone pretty soon. Yeah, it's going to be gone. And then the next thing is the Vaseline Rosy Lips Lip Therapy. And to start, I was kind of like using it all around the edges. You know what I Like, well, it was all around the edges. That's what I'm trying to say. And I've kind of like carved out some of the sides. So I've made considerable progress on this. I didn't mark it. I don't know if I should like mark where it's at. Should I? I'm just going to mark it and see what happens. Because I feel like if you can't see the progress, it's kind of pointless. Okay, so that's that's where I'm at. And then I will, I guess, mark it when that's gone. Should I, like, mark all of it? I'm just going to mark all of it. Just, I'm just going to go for it. This is like, oh my god, this is so weird. I'm weird, whatever. Okay, so I marked where it's at. So then, for my next update, you'll really be able to see the progress I made on it. And I think this is my last product. Yeah, my last product is the ColourPop Hippo Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. And I barely had any pan showing at the start of this, and now I have a considerable amount of pan showing. And I am, it's kind of, I don't know, th but the thing with this product is it seems like the more I use it, the more dry it gets, even though this is a new product. And that shouldn't happen with a cream product, because I feel like it kind of like balls up on my face. I don't know, it's weird. I'm kind of like... I don't enjoy using this product anymore, but I'm going to finish it because I put it in my project and I'm not the type of person to like quit something that I started. So yeah, I'm just going to stick with it and just, it's almost gone I guess. These go pretty fast because the ColourPop pans are pretty shallow. I don't know if I can mark it because it seems like the pan always like morphs, but I'm going to try to like mark it, mark where the pan is. It's like a donut. Did I succeed? I guess. So that's the pan as of now. Yeah, I wish I could like mark this powder, but I mean, there's no pan on it, so yeah, that's not really going to work. So yeah, that is it, and I will see you guys in my next update. I will also be um, posting a Pan That Palette update next week and I'm pretty excited about it because I've made some progress and I honestly I didn't expect to make progress that quick so I'm like super excited about it I'm hoping well I think 
I'm gonna bring you guys that video on the first so I'm hoping to get it up by then so I am super excited about that video and I am also super excited for my next update because I'm super excited to see my feature progress with these products and honestly you guys I, I know it's only been like a month and I haven't really jumped into project pan that much but I love it as of now I feel like it's a great way to use up your makeup and it's really exciting for me I don't know if that's like it's exciting to kind of like see progress every day I really love it and I'm already kind of like planning my next projects that I'm gonna do after this one I'm just so excited and I think it's so fun to just really get use out of all these products that we're buying or that I'm buying well that like makeup collectors buy you know what I'm saying I think it's really nice to get like use out of it instead of just having it sit there and look pretty so I am super stoked about my next projects and about my future updates and all of that so I'm just so excited and yeah that's that's it for this video and I will see you guys in my next updates and my pan that palette updates so I will talk to you guys later bye